I want to do it because it's fun. It's fun to do bad things. To drive into a car. But did you know that you could perhaps kill somebody? Yes, but I wanted to do hood rat stuff with my friend. We on a scare row, y'all. And the rabbit is back. It's rabbit season. Let's go. Something unexplainable. And we're going to show you how Skid Row is. Where is Skid Row? Skid Row is in Cali, right? Some of the locals and ask if they think it's dangerous. Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? Uh, yeah. People are I think Skid Marks are dangerous. I think all downtown area is dangerous. That stuff goes on, I, I guess you can say. It can be, yeah. Why is that? There's a lot of bad shit out there, bro. A lot of drugs. Would you recommend me walking through there by myself at nighttime? No, don't do it. No? No, don't. Why not? You might get hurt. So what kind of shit goes on there? I have no idea, but one of my friends got his car impounded there at one point, and we tried to go there, and we luckily just got out of there in time because they were kind of approaching us. Really? Oh yeah. my god. So <laughs> they were kind of approaching you? Sir, or were they approaching you? dangerous? Skid Row? Yeah. Not dangerous? Nah. Nah. Morning. I'm a soldier. Pyramid destroyer. Well, you have fun in the middle of the street. He's literally standing in the middle of the street. The middle he's, of the intersection. He's standing in the bro, middle of the evil. street. Look at the car. The disrespect. Hey, be careful, bro. You're going to get hit. Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? Honestly, hell yeah. He's the reason. That guy was the reason why that place is dangerous. Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? He ain't scared. I would say no. I would say that there are dangerous people because some people are just not. He's a problem. I wouldn't say there's all dangerous people. I walked down there a couple times. You have? Would you recommend me walking through there by myself at nighttime? Nah. Why not? That's just not a good idea. You know, the shady people come out the nighttime and that ain't. The smart. freaks it's come out at night. Smart. You know, it's crazy people in downtown. I ain't gonna count. So I definitely shouldn't go there at like midnight. Oh. No. Mad Max. Do you guys think Skid Row is dangerous? Yeah. Why? Because it's dangerous. What's so dangerous about it? Because it's Skid Row. Like what happens there? Skid Row. Skid Row happens there? Skid Row. All right. <laughs> Have a good one. Do you think Skid Row yeah, is dangerous? Yeah, she's on drugs. Uh, sometimes in the night. At the nighttime? Uh, sometimes. Daytime is it's okay. What if I went there at nighttime by myself? Nighttime is dangerous. After nine o'clock, it's, it's dangerous. Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? Not really. You know what's dangerous? What? Us and the government. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in some sh a couple times. There. They do stealing shit. I've seen them. They even for me. And then I start sh too with people. Like it's my fault sometimes. You do start. Sh yeah. So I have a big mouth. I'm not you like that too. It's LA. So I have an attitude. What is going on in, what is going on in California? California? I really like that. So it's like you're a rapper. Yeah, I'm a rapper. Do you freestyle? We did this in the mic that take the gigabyte away at the uh, night time like and it's saying don't study, don't study me because i'm fucking, like gutting the fucking mc through the gutter get your big bitch at cutter or suggest the ripper you slug her one more question are you oh, give me a hell or a woman <laughs> do you think skid row is dangerous relatively speaking depending like what parts like i i, I mean it's gotten definitely a lot worse the last couple of years this like, is like, an interesting like, video it is in the city you're also seeing like the same at least right people, like in hospitals so like the hospitals get overwhelmed and they can only hold so many people so what happens when they let them out they just out in the street you don't this know guy's really smartest is. yeah it has gotten Fuck. a little bit more dangerous in the last couple of years i would say yeah. in what way just there's more of them there's or the actual crime there's more of them but i want to say a majority of them keep to themselves it's just like those weirdos like those crazy crazy ones you really need to be careful about yeah. like that whole like bus driver that got attacked that whole stabbing on the train Wait, I'm what like, was that oh the bus driver got attacked recently what would you do to what? any situations if you could invest in more affordable housing men mental health resources more affordable care of course that's much bigger than an individual person that is the result of like people mobilizing coming together and like making sure like that community has what they need to like get out of that situation have you ever been through the Yourself. See, they need this guy on a city council or something. He has some solutions. Me in high school, I was dumb. I also heard they have alien technology that can solve this. So this guy just pulls out a knife and is like, "Hey, give me your." We gotta do something. Yeah, and on city council or get the alien technology out. Bust that out. But I can't get a new life. So how many years ago was that? Eight years ago. Solve this homeless stuff. Would you recommend me walking through there by myself at nighttime? Oh, at nighttime. Careful. <laughs> Careful. But I mean, you have a couple hours till nightfall, so yeah. yeah. We're definitely gonna wait until. Like, what is this? Midnight, dead by daylight? Like, dangerous hours. <laughs> okay. That's our goal. That's a uh, who. Check check the news tomorrow. Make sure that nobody got stabbed in uh, yeah Skid Row. Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? Yeah. 
Why? Mostly because of drugs. So, like, I'll just get pinned with drugs if I go through there? Yeah. Do you ever go through there? Yeah, I'm going right now. <laughs> oh, you are? You're going right now? I'm going, going right now. What's the crazy shit you ever seen around there? Two people dying off and all at the same time. Like, overdose. Like, people trying to save them. It's like do or die, I ain't gotta be killed like two people down here. I see so much stuff, I could do the same thing, I'll make a documentary just every day. Yeah. Like, damn, there's so much stuff going on here every day. Like, I, I do it, bro. Get I out wonder what you type of drugs he's on. on. Good iPhone, record it and post it on YouTube. Yeah. I mean, he seems ass, pretty chill though. That lives in Skid Row. Get a phone, record yeah. cr crazy clips of what happened, and upload it to YouTube. Day by day, yeah. You yeah. never know, bro. Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? No. Oh, this is my area. Like actual Skid Row. No, like no, I know what you're it. talking about. Yeah. And the answer is still no. Okay. You know, that, that's also part of my area. I mean, I've just heard like from stories, but you know how that'd be. They could lie, that's right? That's the way it is. So that's um, what I'm trying to figure out for myself. Yeah? Dude, if you really want to know for yourself, uh -huh. go down there. And that's exactly what we did. But first, I wanted to go during the day just to see how it is. I mean, so far during the day, like. Let's see if this is worse than Kensington. I don't really feel like anything. Anybody is like, Kensington is top tier. In his, in his mouth right now. Google what Kensington, you Philadelphia, yo. How you feeling, bro? Scratch that. Google Kensington right. Beach. I bet. Casually just laying on the side of the road with a crack pipe. Mind if I ask you a question? I was just wondering how you stay so shredded. I'm trying to get like you. Well, I pull buggies. I uh, scrap metal. I exert myself. Up heels, down heels. I use it as a, as a uh, workout, actually. To, uh, and a lot of drugs. You look great, bro. I, I do push -ups. 59 years old. 59? You look f***ing great. Thank you, bro. Oh, you lean as f***. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank man. You. Have a good one. Anybody ever tell you that you look like Snoop Dogg? All the time. Just For real? <laughs> Do you think Skid Row is dangerous? Skid Row? If, if, if Snoop Dogg was off some drugs and was homeless and on Skid Row, I, like yeah, chill. I can yeah, see that. Chill. Everybody seems chill today. Hey, do you think Skid Row is dangerous? I don't like the camera right now. Oh, sorry about that. Can I ask you a question? Skid Row what? Dangerous? Nah. It's chill? Yeah. All right. Although it seemed pretty chill during the day, let's yep. see if that changes at nighttime. What's up, bro? They're arresting people? They're just coming up, pulling up, arresting people? Nah, you just recording people? Like... We're doing a YouTube video. Uh, do you want Jesus or do you want God? Do I want God? What do you mean? You, got you me. want Jesus? You want God? Yeah, you definitely got me. What does that mean? It means he about to get what? violent, friend. Huh? She trying to sell something. <laughs> She put her glasses on. What's her name? We already saw you. Huh? Doing what? We're just filming. Don't film me. Oh, we're not filming you. We don't. Prankster, mother. Prankster? What? I'm not doing pranks. Look at that look. A devilish smile. What is happening right now? NPC conversations. Yeah. I ain't gonna cover up. I'm gonna say this. We didn't pay from the bottom, but we still at the bottom. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. like Skid Row ain't just what they said is like bums this and bums that. Some of these people just they habitat. You feel me? Some people just passing through, doing their thing. Mm -hmm. But see me, I stand right here. I'm about to get the fuck up out of here. Mm -hmm. So much, I need some of that too. Yeah, you gotta keep it real, cause guess what? They ain't gonna. This ain't no Skid Row. Yeah. What is that? This. Come on, see we do it. They be taxing out here, bro. Here, take this back. That's Zah or crack? Damn, damn, bro, the Zah? That's like so sad, bro. Right? Just because you're scared, bro, I ain't no bum ass bitch like that, though. I'm just saying I'm bum right there. Why is that bum? It's just offering you a blunt. All right. She wanted to. Oh, you ungrateful motherfucker. You all right, bro? He just gave her a butt. Who the fuck made you? And she threw it on the ground. The cops? Bro, they might have something. They might have something over there. I feel like she picked it up after they left. This shit is real out here, bro. I've honestly never seen anything like this in my life. Oh, look at that fire. Zoom in. We're the fire department. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Firemen! Damn, bro, this is plastic. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to breathe this shit in. God damn. Yeah, f that. They're literally burning straight plastic. This is plastic, bro. Stop breathing it. Is she trying to put it out or is she trying to make it bigger? I can't tell. She's like, put it out and then throws more stuff in it. I don't know, bro. The straight plastic. I'm getting she's not there. putting it out. I think no, she's trying to here. fan the flames. Like, it's like sad, bro. I mean, what the f do you expect? Bro? Some of those people are young as f The guy, whatever, who got maced. Bro, he looks young as f He's like younger than us. You asked me to take you to the dirtiest part of LA. I knew it was Zombie bad, Land, but. Bro. Welcome to Zombieland. You remember the movie Zombieland 1 and 2? Yeah. This is the 3. Nice right. to meet you, bro. Oh, what? About that. what the hell? Oh, sh Damn, bro. You, drop your bike. you good? You, you got it? You can do it? You can ride that on one. Possibly. Five dollars says you can. Me too. Five. Oh yeah, oh god. Yeah, dead ass, bro. Five dollars says bro, you can't. This is about to be good. <laughs> the chain's not even on the bike, bro. 
Yeah, yeah. you're good, bro. Have a good night, my boy. Are you serious? Yeah. Because the chain's not even on the bike, so you can't do it. There's, There's no way. Tool. You're from California? Yeah. I'm from Florida. He was going to attempt it with no chain on the bike. Florida man does this, Florida man does that. Spot. What kind of drugs like is that, people? For, for a living, yeah. Crack or heroin? Big big one? Yeah, the big alligators. The big ass one. Eight foot, ten foot. Yeah, yeah. You had it in your hand? Yep. You was trying to cover the mouth or some shit? Yep. All right, you do that shit? Hell yeah. You get paid for that? Of course. Can I get a job, man? You trying to catch some alligators? Man, I'll be you your assistant. You think you can catch an alligator? I mean, I don't know about catching an alligator. I might can shoot that motherfucker. No, nah, we don't shoot him. We just catch because we got to catch him and, you know, like put him somewhere else. Do they try to kill you or hurt you? It could. Oh, it usually doesn't, you know. You, like, you have I to just. I can help you, man. How much you pay me? I can help you. For alligator catching, it depends. It depends on how big the alligator is and stuff like that. Give or take what? It goes based off of the foot. So if it's like if it's like a four foot alligator, I get paid like around like three grand. If it's a six foot alligator i get paid like five three grand, grand to catch an alligator i swear to god All right, bet, hit me up. i'm about to start wrangling motherfuckers what's easy simple let's do the form then let's say three grand you ready you, you gotta for go a four footer like, like grab the neck I'll do some like this shit like this and be having my hands out and, you, and, you, and you'll grab the mouth you gotta grab the mouth yeah. and tape that yeah. Yeah. yeah i'll help your ass oh, yeah. teach Sounds me good. teach me okay. what's her name that's Tanner? this yeah. is the guy from i saw a video the right, guy caught an alligator in the middle of the street. That's him. Well, to be honest with you, having a shop on Skid Row, it's a hassle. Because you have to deal with the mental illness, to deal with people that comes in. Yeah. Prime example. It's all about respect. Prime example. I pretty much got that here. So they know what will happen to them if they was to come in here and trip in. I do carry pepper spray. I do carry stuff that I can't carry. Has it ever had to gone, come down to that? Yes. But yes. Yeah? Plenty of times. Plenty of times? Recently like, we had a lady come in here butt ass naked. To be honest, it's sad though. Man. There's a lot of people down there that need help. They don't give a f about them, you know? You literally gotta be in your deathbed or unhumane, eating out the trash and in your own sh for them to help you. You got the munchies, bro? Okay. Bro walking around and getting the munchies. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Because uh, we don't have EBT right now. Oh, bro. Shit, how much is it? Okay. Yo, bro. I got you, bro. He has no neck. That cashier guy has no neck. Hotel and stop and hurt people like Tony and them knowing that. Ooh. Red meat in the building. Hey, don't put me on the other room. I get a neck of red meat in the building. Red meat. What is that? Me? You, why? Cause, I, rare. Cause I'm a ginger. Cause you white. <laughs> well, Skid Row is interesting. I'm not gonna say it's less dangerous or more dangerous than Kensington, cause you know what it is. Skid Row is a lot more space. Like the streets is real are, are real broad and stuff, so it gives you the illusion of safety and comfort more than like Kensington, where it's like more jam packed. Those streets are narrow as hell. Like narrow street, crackheads on all side. You feel more unsafe. Like if the street's wider, right? You feel a little bit more safe. Cause you can like walk in the middle of the street maybe. But I don't know, it's just different. I'm gonna bring some more videos y'all, skate road shit.